Hi and welcome back to Scala Collections. In the previous video we saw how we can quickly sort a sequence of elements including tuples. The two methods we used in the previous video were sorted and sort with. The usage of these methods is quite simple, even for beginners. In today's video, I will discuss two more techniques to enhance our understanding of sorting in Scala. First, I will introduce sort by. I consider sort by as a shorthand of sort with. And second is ordered trait. It is similar to comparable interface in Java. If you are coding for some time, then you would agree with me that the examples in my previous video were quite naive and nobody deals with list of int or string most of the time. Rather, quite commonly, we deal with list of objects. Let us consider case class days on planet. The class has two attributes. First is the name of the planet and second is the length of the day on that planet in hours. If you are not aware about the concept of case classes, then you don't have to worry too much. Case classes provide some nice functionalities in Scala. For example, here we can instantiate our class without new keyword and we get two string method for free. Let me just jump to the console and here is our class again. Now let us create a list of days on planet. I have kept it written. Let me just paste it here. And here is the list days on planets with nine instances of the class. Let us try to sort this list here. But we get this error, no implicitly, no implicit ordering defined because Scala don't know how to sort this list of classes. In this scenario, we need to help Scala to determine which property of days on planet to consider to sort the list. And in these scenarios, sort by comes handy. Sort by accepts a function literal that would inform Scala about attributes on which sort should be performed. Here, I will use name to sort the list. I will use for each to print all the elements. And this is our sorted result. We can also use shorthand like this rather than providing the whole function literal. I can also sort my list based on hours in a day. Apart from sort by, we can also use sort with as we have seen in the previous video. All right, but I'm still not satisfied because every time I need to sort my list, I need to write this extra function literal. Can we do something about it? We need to set the default sorting order of our list. And the answer is yes. All we need to do is mix in ordered trait in our class. Ordered trait extends comparable interface from Java and works similar to it it would enforce us to implement compare method. We can use the compare method to write our sorting logic. Let us take a quick look. Let me open the class definition again and extend ordered trait. Now, let us quickly implement the compare method as well. Compare method accepts another instance of the same class. Compare methods return zero if two instances are equal. Or a negative or a positive value to denote one instance is less than or greater than the other. The comparison of two instances entirely depends on the algorithm that you have implemented in compare method. Let us try our newly implemented method now. So here I will change sort by to just sorted.
hooray the changes work and we can observe that now the list is sorted in order of length of day so all this is good and these techniques works on all collections in Scala except for arrays arrays are a special case let me quickly show you an example here it is quite easy to sort an array as well so instead of list let me declare an array of names of planet that means Scala already knows how to sort this array so in order to sort the array we have to use scala.util.sorting.quicksort method now that array is sorted let us try to print the array and yes everything is sorted I hope you have enjoyed today's video. These are a few tips and techniques to sort the collection. Hopefully, it will be helpful for you to write your production code. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Please post your comments and suggestions.